Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question. This diagram shows cross section of two cylindrical metal rods with red eye of 3 and 9. And a red band is used to wrap tightly around it. Find the length of the red band. Let me label A, B as the line of tangent to the two circles. And that is going to form a right angle to the right eye of the two circles. Let me label the center of the two circles with C and D. For the line of AD is parallel with the line BC. I'm going to produce two more parallel lines connecting the center D to the center C and A connecting to the point that I'm going to label with letter E here. And these two lines are parallel to each other. For the shape of A, E, C, D is a parallelogram. I can find out the length of DC by using three units from the smaller circle, add up the nine units from the bigger circle. And that is going to produce 12 units for the line of DC. And for the line of AE, it is in fact 12 as well, same with the DC, simply because these two lines are parallel and the entire shape here, AECD, is a parallelogram. The line BC is parallel with the line AD. And in order to find what is the length of BE, I can simply use 9 units from BC minus the 3 units of the line AD. And it produces 6 units for the line of BE. And now, by focusing on the triangle ABE, I can find the length of AB by using Pythagoras theorem. And that is going to be 12 square minus 6 square and square root of the whole thing is going to get me 6 times the square root of 3. For the next step, I'm going to find out for what is the value of the theta by using trigonometric. And that will be sine theta equal 6 over 12. And the value of the theta that I'm getting here is 30 degrees. So theta, I label it as 30 degrees here. Let's find out the angles for the rest part of this shape. Here will be 90 degrees minus 30 degrees. So I get 60 degrees. And for this part, I'm going to use 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, and it is 120 degrees. Let me produce two more red eye connecting from the center C to the point P and the center D to the point of Q. For the angle of QDC, it is the same as 120 degrees. And for this part, ADQ, it is by using 360 degrees minus 120 minus another 120 degrees, that is going to form 120 degrees. By referring to this parallelogram of AECD, I get to know for this part is 60 degrees. And for this part, it is the same as 60 degrees. And for the major sector of this bigger triangle, this is going to be 240 degrees. I use 360 degrees minus 60 degrees and minus another 60 degrees and that is a result of 240 degrees. Up to this point, I have all the relevant information to solve the problem. And by using the major arc of BP plus the minor arc of AQ plus the length of AB plus the length of QP, that is going to form the entire length of the red band that we are looking for. By working it out, 
this is the equation. And I'm going to simplify it. Adding it up, this is going to give the answer for the length of the red band. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.